having known the criteria having set the criteria for filter design we must set how much and what filters are to be designed in order to effectively minimize this various things okay so what are the filter requirements that is the second paragraph here the filter requirements on the ac side of hvdc system let us say for a 12 pulse uh, converter operation fine it is recommended that two single tuned filters for 11th and 13th order harmonics and one high pass filter for 23rd harmonics onwards so two single tuned filters and one high pass filter this will be sufficient to eliminate or minimize all the harmonics that are present for 12 pulse converter operation on the ac side the ones which are present in the ac current next is in addition to the above a third harmonic non characteristic filter is used particularly if the ac system connected to the hvdc converter is a weak ac system so third order harmonic non characteristics i was telling earlier third harmonics are present but it is not for all the system it is for where there may be a possibility of disturbance in ac voltage so generally disturbances are common with weak ac network they are not closely meshed faults occurring then variation in voltage unbalanced voltages in such a case non characteristic harmonic filter must be in place so for ac side we have two single tuned filter one high pass so this is three filters and then one non characteristic filter so you can consider these are four filters are required for ac side right so there may be a question in our mind what are the single tuned filter then what are high pass filters and how to eliminate non characteristic filters so all these questions might be answered gradually as we understand the various terminologies associated with the filter design and filter components let us move to the next slide this is what i was telling that the filter components right the filter components they are not only acting as filters but uh, they appear to be capacitive at the fundamental frequency and supply reactive power to the converter this is very very important we must understand dual purpose capacitor filter the filters they not only eliminate the harmonics from the power system but they are also responsible for providing very much required reactive power to the converter okay so these are uh, these are the uh, Uh, design uh, criteria and the requirements of the filters that we have seen now before we start going through the different types of filters and their design right let us uh, consider some of the terms and definitions which will be quite helpful to us in understanding and uh, developing proper filter designs so various terms and definitions so first and foremost the term that we must understand here the size of the filters what is the size of filters the size of ac harmonic filters is specified in terms of the reactive power supplied by the filter at fundamental frequency how do we size a filter isn't it size means the rating the ratings of the filter how we decide the rating so basically ac filter these are these are meant for eliminating harmonic frequencies of certain order how to select their size how to select the rating so the rating is decided based on how much total reactive power mvar right it is being supplied by the filter at fundamental frequency sizing of the filter is dependent upon reactive power supplied by the filter at fundamental frequency and at the rated voltage and generally it is approximately equal to the power supplied by the capacitor banks of the filter okay so capacitor is the main agency within the filter circuit that will be responsible for supplying this okay so 
the size of the filter is actually size of the capacitor bank for given rated uh, MBA capacity, MBAR capacity. Okay, size of the filter is basically size of MBAR. MBAR is supplied mainly by the cap capacitor will act as reactive power supply agent at fundamental frequency. Okay. The next important definition that we would like to understand here is the Q factor or quality factor. Quality factor. Since we would like to eliminate selective frequency, let us say we want to eliminate 11th order harmonic or 15th, 13th order harmonic, like this. So, quality factor of the filter or a Q factor of the filter, it expresses the selectiveness or sharpness of tuning filter is connected in the circuit in order to eliminate 11th harmonic how effectively or how precisely the filter selects that particular frequency present in the ac current and eliminates it by providing a low impedance path that is determined by the Q factor, sharpness of tuning, sharpness of tuning. That means selecting a particular frequency from a band of frequencies. Fundamental is present, 11th is present, 13th is present, 23rd, 25th, all harmonics are present. But let us say we are trying to design a filter which we want to, which we want to 11th harmonic, right? Two single tune filter, one 11th harmonic filter. It should be able to identify that frequency and select. Okay, how it is uh, obtained? Q factor. So Q factor is basically obtained as ratio of inductive reactance to the resistance of the filter. Omega L upon R or XL by R. Omega L XL by R. Q factor. Uh, let us uh, see one diagram that will provide a better understanding what is a q factor okay <clears throat> let us move to the next slide it is very clear that the sharpness okay the sharpness of tuning increases with the increase in the value of q factor larger the value of q factor the larger will be the sharpness selectivity okay in case of high pass filters, the sharpness is defined as a ratio of resistance to the inductive reactance. So high pass filters, they work in a different manner. There is one cutoff frequency and all higher frequency above that cutoff frequency that will be offered lowest impedance by the filter. So that is a high pass filter. For high pass filter, the Q factor has been defined as a ratio of resistance to inductive reactance, exactly reverse of a single tune filter. Okay. Please observe uh, the uh, diagram here. The diagram shows uh, y axis, it is a filter current, right, and x axis is the frequency. Y axis is the filter current, I, and X axis. So, this is a kind of a frequency response. What we observe here from the frequency response is that for one particular frequency, right, for one particular frequency, the value of current, isn't it? It is highest. For one particular frequency, that is the peak the value of current is highest. That means the current flowing through the filter all the way to the ground. Current is highest means the impedance offered by the filter will be lowest. The filter offer least impedance or highest current will flow through the filter circuit for one particular frequency and that is called as a sharpness of tuning. So tuned, the, the filter is tuned for this particular frequency. It is offering least impedance to one particular frequency. But for all other frequency less than this value and similarly higher than this value. For all other frequency, the impedance offered okay, 
the impedance offered is high current is low isn't it so we can clearly observe here that this is for a high q factor type of filter so there are two characteristics here first one is for high q value and second one down at the bottom is a low q value now what is the characteristics of a low q value you can see here for low q we can observe that actually the impedance offered by the filter the impedance offered by the filter is low for a wide range of frequencies okay for a wide range of frequency it is unable to choose one particular value of frequency in this range so impedance offered for all the range of frequencies is same for a low q filter so this low q filter is a sort of a band pass okay it will pass a band of frequency it is not able to choose in this range what are the frequencies to which lowest impedance is to be offered so that is the importance of a q factor or a sharpness factor or quality factor right so the best one that we are looking for is having good q factor which can select so this kind of uh, characteristics is for a single tune filter which can choose one particular frequency right now uh, we move ahead and uh, come across yet another uh, very important uh, term that is minimum cost filter okay while we are designing the filter we are eliminating the harmonics we have to buy the components the resistance inductor and capacitor and design the filter for a given requirement while we are doing so we must look into the impact of uh, the size of the filter on the costing isn't it the cost must be justified and there should be some optimum value of cost at which the filter design will turn out to be uh, economic for operation right so let us uh, move ahead before uh, we uh, now this is a description that is provided <coughs> what are the various filter components the various filter components that are uh, there filter capacitor okay then uh, uh, next is a resistor right this is a primary resistor inductors and capacitors and then of course lastly the switch gears these are the four prim primary components of any filter whether it is a single tuned double tuned or higher order filter while we want to uh, integrate this component there has to be some criteria that ensures that the cost of such filter for a given size is minimal isn't it so minimum cost filter there is a derivation that is generally uh, associated with this particular study minimum cost filter right uh, please observe uh, carefully that uh, the cost of filter capacitor let us consider the first element filter capacitor the cost of filter capacitor it is directly proportional to the reactive power requirement because capacitor itself will act as a reactive power source at fundamental frequency while acting as a filter for higher frequencies if we if we try to evaluate the size of the capacitor for a given mvr capacity then we will realize that actually uh, the reactive power is expressed q is equal to uh, v square omega c so if we try to express c in terms of uh, q so it will be q upon omega v square so that is that indicates that uh, filter capacitor cost uh, in uh, directly the size of the capacitor directly depends upon the mvr size it is proportional to mvr size right <clears throat> then the ac filter resistor cost ac filter resistor cost 
this is a generally fixed it doesn't vary with the reactive power requirement rather it will depend upon the uh, tuning component that is required for the ac filter so for a given range of frequency this uh, ac filter resistor cost is a fixed component next is cost of filter capacitor uh, filter reactor sorry cost of filter reactor cost of filter reactor is inversely proportional to the reactive power requirements that is quite quite obvious because uh, filter capacitor uh, cost is proportional to mvr size and if we try to calculate mvr for a given uh, uh, reactor isn't it so this is a re uh, reactor it consumes reactive power right it is inversely proportional to the mvr size and uh, last is cost of the switch gear switch gears are required right uh, isolators circuit breakers isn't it so the switching yard this will be required in measuring circuits current voltages and monitoring equipments relays all these things cost of switch gear so cost of switch gear again it is a fixed for a uh, given set of uh for a given rating and size it doesn't vary with the reactive power isn't it <coughs> to once you select so cost of switch gear so keeping this in mind now let us uh, move ahead to the next slide and uh, focus our attention on this particular diagram here on the y axis we have the cost element cost in uh, rupees lakhs or maybe we can even for a larger size okay so you can see 10 50 100 100 lakhs so that means it is earning cost in crores and uh, on the y axis on the x axis uh, we have got the mvr requirement per phase right so x axis is a reactive power requirement and y axis is the cost so now there are three different elements indicate uh, indicate three or four elements indicated here on the graph you can observe first one this is the cost increasing as the size of the filter or mvr requirement increases one element is proportional to the reactive power requirement isn't it one element is proportional to the reactive power requirement so that is the size of the capacitor bank it increases with the reactive power requirement size isn't it so let us let us uh, assume that a is a cost component associated with the unit capacitor size as s is the reactive power requirement s is the reactive power requirement here you can see s size of the filter s isn't it it depends upon the reactive power per phase as the reactive power goes on increasing we just have to multiply by the per unit cost of capacitor let us say for m1 mvr the cost uh, cost is 10 lakhs so if it is 100 mvr so 100 multiplied by 10 so as the size of the filter goes on increasing the cost of capacitor is proportional that we have seen in the previous slide okay <clears throat> now next we consider the size of the inductor the size of the inductor is inversely proportional to the size of mvr requirement or size of the filter as size of the filter goes on increasing right the cost associated with the reactor reactor that is inductor in the filter inductor within the filter that the cost goes on reducing this is obvious because we want to supply reactive power so size of the capacitor increases with the mvr requirement but as the size of capacitor goes on increasing the requirement for the uh, inductor okay the cost of inductor is in inverse proportion larger the reactive power requirement smaller is the size of the inductor so let us consider b to be the cost component associated with the inductor per unit cost isn't it and then uh, we have to divide it by s so this is the inverse proportional to the mvr 
इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन कैपेसिटर डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शन इंडक्टर इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन नेक्स्ट थर्ड इज दिस कॉन्स्टेंट एलिमेंट दट इज इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द साइज ऑफ रेजिस्टर विच इज फिक्सड एंड सिमिलरली साइज ऑफ द स्विच गियर द स्विच गियर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड रेजिस्टर फिक्सड इट विल नॉट बी वेरिंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द साइज ऑफ द फिल्टर इज एंड इट सो थ्री एलिमेंट्स a directly uh, a into s directly proportional to s inversely proportional to s where s is a site or reactive power requirement and then this isn't it if we add this 1 2 and 3 right all the three so observe uh, here on top total cost if you try to plot total cost so total cost will be a s Plus B by S plus K C that is a fixed element. One is linearly increasing, other is inversely. So A into S plus B by S plus K C. This will be equal to the total cost. This will be equal to total cost. And this total cost characteristics we it is plotted here. You can see this is total cost character. Sum of all these three. This is here, isn't it? And you can observe that cost is higher. and it reduces and then again after certain value it again tries to rise so what is the optimal point what is the optimal point we would like to identify what is the optimal cost isn't it what is the minimum cost here the cost is higher similarly here the cost is higher for the same reactive power requirement what should be the ideal value of filter size and hence the ideal value of cost here isn't it what is the ideal cost like this we have to arrive at opti- minimum cost sizing of the filters uh, then we substitute these and then try to uh, differentiate this equation with respect to s so cost total cost is differentiated and then equated to zero in order to arrive at the value point and uh, then try to simplify this and uh, we'll be able to reach and arrive at the conclusion that actually the optimal size of filter for minimum cost s minimum is equal to under root of b by a where b represents the cost component for inductor and a represents the cost component for the capacitor isn't it they are cost coefficients or cost components and lastly uh, we can say that the minimum cost can be written as k minimum is equal to 2 under root ab plus kc this is the equation that is obtained by substituting the s minimum value in the equation for k so minimum cost k minimum is equal to twice under root ab plus kc rupees lakhs this is how the minimum cost filter can be arrived at okay let us uh, discuss uh, the different types of filters uh, that are used in hvdc systems in order to minimize the harmonics so here uh, we can visualize uh, different types of filters that are used in the hvdc system mainly single tuned filters to minimize the harmonics in the current on the ac side right then double tuned filters and high pass filters so these are the three major categories within high pass filter there can be second order type depending on the net circuit and the requirements and uh, c type two options are there in the high pass filters single tuned filter uh, basically means a filter which is designed for eliminating one selective harmonic frequency so that is a single frequency tuning 
डबल ट्यून फिल्टर दे ऑफर सर्टेन एडवांटेज ओवर सिंगल ट्यून फिल्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेविंग्स इन दिस इज गियर कॉस्ट दे कैन एलिमिनेट टू डिफरेंट हार्मोनिक फ्रिक्वेंसीज टू सिलेक्टिव हार्मोनिक फ्रिक्वेंसीज एंड दैट्स वाई दे आर कॉल्ड डबल ट्यून दे आर ट्यून टू टू डिफरेंट हार्मोनिक फ्रिक्वेंसीज so a double tone filter can be replaced by two single tune filter but uh, in that case separate switch gear and all those assemblies are required if it is single so maybe there is a saving in the space and uh, cost of switch gears when we compare single tune double tune filters okay uh, third one is a high pass filter high pass filters uh, these offer low impedance to frequencies above certain cut off frequency so high pass all the high frequencies higher frequency harmonics they will be passed to the ground high pass filters second order type and c type we are going to see the basic circuits how these filters look like i mean what are the circuits and then we are going to look at their characteristics and later on uh, we are going to see the design of single tune filters double tune filters fine and uh, develop the basis for select harmonic elimination right let us uh, check with the single tune filter so the first type of filter is a single tune filter single tune filter is designed to filter out characteristic harmonics right and that too of a single frequency that i have studied single tune filters to eliminate single harmonic characteristics harmonic frequency the tuning of this filter is critical as we have seen earlier that q factor decides the tuning higher the q factor the better is the tuning tuning means selecting one particular frequency so tuning of this filter is critical because this filter has to eliminate one particular frequency if that frequency is not properly selected then the harmonic effect cannot be minimized right so tuning of this filter is critical and circuit configuration and its characteristics are shown in the diagrams below right on the left hand side it shows how the filter is connected with respect to the line kindly focus this is the ac line maybe any one of the phases on the ac side of hudc converter okay and uh, of course uh, before the converter transformer so on the line side so here uh, you can see <coughs> filters are connected so this is a single tune filter if you observe carefully it is a simple series rlc circuit uh, other end is grounded so whenever some uh, harmonics are present uh, and they are they are coming from the converter side isn't it so you can consider here that uh, there may be some harmonics present on the converter side isn't it and uh, as they arrive and harmonics will find low impedance path all the way to the ground isn't it so whatever uh, the pure waveform that will be shared on the ac side so now only fundamental frequency will be moving ahead and getting connected to the ac network the harmonics which are generated let us assume that right hand side is a converter on the left hand side you have a converter transformer and other equipments so this is a filter this is a filter you can see that as a filters are connected isn't it so they will get is eliminated right <clears throat> the principle of operation of this uh, rlc circuit is very simple and straightforward 
first of all the value of capacitance is selected depending upon the reactive power requirement and then for a select value of uh, harmonic frequency uh, condition for series resonance is substituted that is inductive reactance becomes equal to capacitive reactance consequently due to the resonance condition of the series rlc circuit the impedance of the circuit will become minimum and current will become maximum that means the filter will offer least impedance the filter will offer least impedance for a particular harmonic frequency for which the values of xl and xc they become equal right so series resonance is the basis of operation for this simple rlc series circuit we we study rlc series resonance at the first year level this is the application of that omega l is equal to 1 upon omega c where we select omega to be 11th harmonic or 13th harmonic or some value and equate then so then xl becomes equal to xc z becomes equal to only r current is maximum and it offers low lowest impedance to the flow of harmonic current but if this is not a harmonic it is a let us say 50 hertz fundamental current at that time the impedance offered by the filter filter should be high okay so this is ensured by a proper tuning of the filter circuit now let us pay attention to the frequency response on the right hand side on the x axis you observe that is there is a range of frequency and on the y axis it is the filter impedance we can observe here that for one particular value of tuning frequency let us say f0 for one particular value of tuning frequency the impedance offered by the filter is minimum and its value is equal to r because xl becomes equal to xc so generally we write r plus j xl minus xc so these elements they are opposing each other right and the net effect is that during a resonance they will cancel out and z will become equal to r but this will happen only at a select frequency as chosen by the design engineer as per the requirement maybe 11th harmonic 13th harmonic or 23rd harmonic 25th harmonic right so this is the this is the characteristics of filter that impedance arises sharply for all other frequencies other than f0 whether frequencies are on lower side or frequency on the higher side it offers high impedance to all other frequency and selectively offers low impedance to the one single tuned frequency that's why it is called a single tuned filter this frequency this will be grounded to the earth and this is how the single tuned filter is capable will be capable of eliminating the one particular characteristic harmonics next we move to the double tuned filter right so double tuned filter uh naturally uh, it has to select two different frequencies observe that on the left hand side we have the circuit diagram for the double tuned filter it consists of uh, several components c1 c2 l1 okay the, and uh, r1 r2 r3 right various components are there and the circuit is designed in such a way that it offers the frequency response as indicated in the right hand side diagram as the name suggests it is double tuned that means there there are actually two different frequencies let us say f1 this may be 11th harmonic and then f2 this may be 13th harmonic for a 12 pulse converter two different frequencies and for these two different frequencies it is realized that the impedance offered by the two branches of this network one for the 
11th harmonic and other for the 13th harmonic just as an example i am telling this values impedance you can see y axis is impedance x axis is the frequency so minimum impedance is offered for frequency f1 and so also for frequency f2 so two select frequencies the components of the circuit can be chosen such that the design engineer will decide which frequency he wants to eliminate and accordingly components can be designed for the double tune filter for all other frequencies other than f1 and f2 you can see lower than f1 impedance rises sharply and similarly for a range of frequency between fn and f2 again the impedance offered is large okay and for all frequencies higher than f2 the impedance is large consequently these two frequencies will find a low impedance path all the way to the earth and the harmonics will be eliminated and they will not be able to reach the ac network uh, from the converter okay so this is the basic principle of operation so we can uh, see here that two different harmonics are eliminated having frequencies f1 and f2 as indicated in the diagram and double tune filter uh, it offers advantage over single tune filter that it minimizes the switch gear requirement so you can see we have to connect one point here to the line for phase or the one point to the earth okay if we have two different single tune filters then naturally we will require two separate Uh, switching and isolating circuits so that is uh, what is uh, the meaning of this particular comparison right now let us move to the next type of uh, filter that is used is a high pass filter okay you can observe here this is a high pass filter high pass there are two different uh, uh, designs of this particular filter one is called as a second order type okay and uh, uh, third uh, this uh, next is this is c type okay so two different circuits are there second order the second order means uh, when we try to uh, work out uh, this particular uh, equation right the voltage and current correlation this is the second order okay lap take the lap plus second order okay so uh, c type okay so c type basically you can see the difference between these two uh or capacitor is introduced in the inductor branch it offers certain advantage in terms of uh, having a better cut off frequency discrimination okay so capacitor c2 is there right <coughs> now considering uh, these two filters let us uh, take a look at the characteristics frequency response on the x axis again the frequency is floated on the y axis the impedance impedance offered by these high pass filters you can see that the high pass filter offers low impedance equal to that of uh, value of r in the circuit lowest impedance is offered for all frequencies higher than the cut off frequency right for all frequencies higher than the cut off frequency so this frequency f0 is called as the cut off frequency for a high pass filter for all frequencies below cut off the impedance offered by this will be high consequently they will be blocked but uh, for uh, frequencies higher than the cut off frequency the impedance offered is low so all of them will be grounded right single tuned filter uh, they eliminate harmonics of the order of 11th and 13th in case of uh, ac filter right and all other harmonics higher than 23rd they and higher frequencies they are all taken care by a single high pass filter okay so uh, the, this is the basic functioning how the high pass filters work okay 